How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to show you some tricks on how I went about building uh, this super duper mart and particularly how I, how I was able to align the walls on a multi-level building. So I'm going to start out by showing you what I did to begin this build. You'll notice some conduits here. Now I use these just purely for a measurement tool. I want it to be kind of lined up with this uh, screen here. So I basically use these as an alignment tool so I could get this lined up. And of course once I got it where I wanted it, I got rid of these. So the first thing that I did as far as this build, if I can get rid of these now, was I put these concrete blocks down. And these are from uh, Snappy House Kit. And I put them down to where as low as I could so that uh, I could build them across. I had to start with this block right here. And then I went three wide and I went eight long. So that's what I started out with. Now as far as putting a floor on this, I used uh, Institute floors. And in order to accomplish this, what I did was, now you have to use the Place Anywhere tool to do this. I turned off the global collision and the snapping. And then I raised this up so that the bottom was lined up there. Now I can turn my snapping back on. And these will line right up. Now I'm not going to do, you know, a whole lot with this build. I just want to give you the basic idea of how I went about doing this. And this is the floor of what, uh, in the Super Duper Mart, this is the stock room floor. Which, of course, was above the rest of the building. Now, down on this end, I had the loading platform. Now, I can raise that up just a little bit. And then, of course, this would have to raise up. I'll have to... Let me see. Turn off the global collision. Probably have to turn off the snapping on this, too. Then I can raise it up just enough to where it lines up. Close enough, because... I'm not really doing this build anyway, so if I was, I would be a lot more picky with it. Now once I did that, I ran a piece off of this, okay, which it snapped to it. Oh, I don't have the snap turned on. See, that's what happens when you forget. See, I ran a piece here. Then I turned off the global collision and the snap and I lowered it down until it hit the ground. 
and I'm using these green, these Institute turf floors just to show you what I did the first time that I laid this floor. Because what when you hit the ground, if you run this all the way down, which is what I did, and came over, you'll notice that it's above this uh, cement walkway here. And I didn't want it above there. So what I did was I got rid of this piece. And then I lowered this down. Okay, which this is what it gave me. I lowered it down so it was just slightly below that cement walkway. And then I ran it all the way back up. And this is what I ended up with, okay? And this represents the floor. This is actually the area where the lawn and garden and the vestibule is. And then that out there was the parking lot. So this is what I ended up with as far as the floor. Now this shows through here. And this was the area that is the bakery. And most of this hid is hidden in the build by the counters. Uh, you'll see just the corner of this in the actual store itself. The rest is hidden by the counters and this one down here is totally hidden by counters. So you don't even notice it. So this gave me what I was looking for as far as the floors and the level of the building itself. Now as far as the walls go I went to USO, went to wood, retextures, home of the future, and I used the white. Okay. And these snap right on. Now I'm not going to run them all the way across. You know, I uh, in the build I ran them all the way across basically went around the entire store with this okay now I want to run this out one more just for now now this is what I did with this in order to get it to look right I turned off the global collision for the game session and I turned off the general snapping now I can lower this down and I kind of lined it up so that the edge of this lined up with the edge of that. Okay. Did the same thing here. And I'm not going to be too picky here because uh, this is not the actual build. So if it doesn't look perfect, uh, just know that when I, when I did the actual build, I was a lot more picky with my alignment here. So if it's off of here, I'm not too worried about it here. Now once I did that, look at this, I can go back in. Oops. Or at least I can if I turn my snaps back on. Okay, so that's how I was able to line those up. And I did this all the way down through. Now I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to make you watch me do this. I'll, I'll just do it up real quick and I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so that's how I got these walls to line up all the way down through there. And once I got them in, I wanted to put my ceiling in and I wanted to use the Institute uh, light ceilings or light floors they're called actually and they're these pieces I don't know why they're called light floors and I don't know why you know you would think they would snap in here but they don't uh, I don't know why they would just have them snap down there. But anyways, 
what I did was I got rid of one of these and I put this in. Then, again, turn my global and my snaps off and raised it up. Once I got it to the level I wanted it, then I can turn everything back on again. Let's see. You'll notice these will snap right in now. And of course I went back and put this floor piece back in. So that's how I was able to get the lighting to start snapping in. Now on my Super Duper Mart build, once I did all this and I built the inside of the store, this is off a little bit, but I'm not worried about it because this is not the actual build. But uh, once I got most of the store done, I decided I wanted to put the service desk area here. And it made it kind of a, a bummer because I ended up going through and having to get rid of all these walls that I built because I wanted this to come out two more blocks so that I'd have the service area, service desk area. And this came over to within one block of the end. So all of these, I put in all that work getting these uh, walls put in there. And then ended up having to remove them. Now for this new area... What I did was, I went around and I put all these walls in. And then of course I had to lower them down so I could put more walls on top. So what I did here, I turned off the global and the snap, and then I raised this up so that it lined up with the other wall as far as height. Notice how the tiles line up there. This one I lowered. Then I can turn my snaps back on. This wall will snap in here. I can lower this one down and snap another one in there. So that was how I got that to line up. Now with this here, what I needed to do was line this up. Oops, got to turn my snap off. Like that. Then I lowered all these down. Again, I'm not going to be too picky on exact placement because this is not the actual build. And over here again I raise this one up. And this one down. Thank you. 
now I can turn my snaps back on. That one will snap in there. These will snap all the way across. And then I'll have to turn the snap off again. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can get away with just lowering it. There we go. And then another one will snap in there. So that was a fairly quick way to get these walls lined up. And of course, I've already got the lighting started. So that'll be fairly easy to run this right across. And then for this, I just put one of these ramps, Institute Ramp Floor in there. Lowered it down and snapped it in. Oops. For some reason it decided not to cooperate with me. There we go. And that's how I was able to set this up. For a multi-level building. And again I used uh, counters to hide these areas where the, where the uh, grass shows through. But that's a fairly easy way to get these walls to line up so that it looks right from the outside when you're running a, a multi-level building. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Uh, let me know in the comments if, it, if it's something that's helped you out or whatever. And I will let you go, and I'll see you again next week.